Hey guys, it's Jessie and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a very exciting reading vlog. Today we are going to be reading Love on the Brain by Ali Hazelwood. So if you aren't familiar, I uh, believe about last year, um, Ali Hazelwood's book The Love Hypothesis went very viral on TikTok, BookTok, BookTube, everything. And I love that book, I give it five stars. And this is her very anticipated next release. It's not part of the series or anything, but I believe it's kind of a still science-based book. What I really liked about The Love Hypothesis was the kind of STEM focus on it and the fact that um, Oliver's really intelligent. It was all set in a school setting and stuff like that, um, like a PhD setting. I really like that as kind of part of the appeal as well as the like grumpy sunshine fake dating. But today we're gonna to be reading Love on the Brain, which is a similar premise, I believe, but different characters. I'm pretty sure it's a different world altogether or like just a different you know characters um, and basically I'm gonna be doing a reading vlog of this today as far as I'm aware it came out today when I am filming this um, I picked this up uh, yesterday I believe and now I'm actually getting around to it which is very exciting I'm expecting to like it hopefully I did give the love hypothesis five stars I'm expecting to give this one four or five two We're also expecting to probably read this all in one sitting I can't lie um, but obviously we will see and yeah I just wanted to do a reading vlog of it with you guys because it is a new release and I thought I would share my thoughts and do a little reading vlog because I thought it'd be quite exciting. So yeah, without further ado, I am just gonna get started with this one. So let's go. We have just finished chapter one. We are on page 17. So again, very literally just started the book. We are this much through and I'm enjoying it so far. I have only read one Ali Hazelwood book before. I know she's done some like um, novellas, but I haven't actually got around to reading those. So I'm just currently sitting in bed reading. You can see the teddy bear in the background, um, but ignore that. Um, I've forgotten how much I liked her writing. I just really like her protagonists. I really like enjoy their internal dialogues, I think. And I just really enjoy the way this one's been written. So the main character here is B and the guy who I presume is the love trust is the guy on the um, blurb is Levi and she's basically just been talking about their kind of history to her sister. They're having to kind of co-lead a project together. Um, I forgot to mention that this won't be like a spoiler vlog by the way. Um, I'll do a spoiler section at the end where I talk about my whole like opinion on the books but um, overall this won't be spoilers and if there is I'll do a big like message on the screen so I literally hate spoilers so this won't be spoiled at all but um, we basically this is all the first chapter. So again, not spoilers. Um, we've met B, and she's been talking about how Levi's basically just been a dick to her, um, like her whole life at grad school, and now they've got to co-lead a project at NASA together. So um, I'm really liking the kind of enemies to lovers type of vibe um, that we're potentially going to get. It definitely seems like grumpy sunshine, but B seems like such a fun protagonist, and I'm excited to keep going. So yeah, I'm not sure when our next catch up with you guys. I don't do like every chapter, so I guess we will just see where we are, I guess. Um, next time I see you. Okay, so again, not a spoiler. I will stop talking about actual plot points probably past chapter two, just because that's like a decent part into the book. But we have just found out that B runs like an academic Twitter account that's kind of like a jokey type account that's like for like women in STEM and stuff. And there is another male account that she speaks to a lot on there and it's like, I wonder who that could be. So obviously he's now just said, oh, someone I've known for a long time and now she's back and she's married. And that's obviously him thinking that B is married. So, um, because she was engaged. Um, but yeah, this is the last kind of spoilerish part of the book that we'll talk about because I really get funny about spoilers. But yeah, I just love that they drop that in. Like that's, I don't think, that's meant to be like a clue. I think that's meant to just be like a very obvious who that is or whatever. Um, but I think that's kind of cute. I can't tell when I whether I like when people like know each other online. I read I Love You, I Hate You, which also had that trope and I don't know if I loved it in there. So we'll see how I feel about it in this book. But yeah, I'm going to continue reading obviously now. Okay, so we are now um, this much through the book. I'd say about a third through on chapter nine, page 121. So I am really enjoying it so far. I think it's really cute. Um, I'm liking B a lot. I think she's probably one of my favorite protagonists. I just really, really like her. And then we've got Levi, who is the kind of enemies to lovers, but we're starting to see that there must be some kind of miscommunication there. It does kind of annoy me the trope of like having someone like just about to say something and then get interrupted and then it happens again and it gets interrupted and I feel like that's happening a lot which is a bit annoying um, but overall I am enjoying it um, I definitely think um, it's kind of being hinted at that Levi I guess has been misled about things and kind of 
disliked her for like a reason and then that kind of snowballed or whatever um a reason that was maybe not true but yeah anyway i'm gonna leave this for tonight we are this much through and i'll definitely finish this off tomorrow okay so it is the next morning now i've done a tiny bit of reading before i got ready we are now just under halfway through i don't know how well you can see but this is about where we are up to so kind of about halfway through the book and i am loving it so far it's definitely more of a slow burn which i love i'm so glad because i think i've just read so much recently where it's just really quick insta love and i don't hate insta love like other people do but i'm just really enjoying this i'm not enjoying the kind of miscommunication trope in the way that i mentioned before where it was like someone goes to say something and then it gets interrupted um but overall i am enjoying it um i'm glad as well that the like texting thing that i mentioned earlier isn't included as much as i thought um i'm also really loving her little twitter account i think that's so cute so yeah really really excited to see where this goes and yeah i'm very very excited honestly i just yeah very very into this i do think i prefer the love hypothesis so far just because we had the fake dating thing we had a bit more from them because there really isn't too much between them yet but overall i do think this might be a five star read for me can't lie just finished chapter 16 i love this book i love this book it's so good love it oh my god i loved it i just finished it and i loved it so much i loved it so much i i just loved it so much definitely a five stars for me so so good I loved Levi and I love B. I love B so much. I think she might have been one of my favourite protagonists. I literally adored her. I adored them together. I adored everything about this. Um, I loved the trope in this. I loved all of it so much. So now this will probably be the end of the spoiler free part and I'm just going to give my final thoughts and review uh, with the spoilers involved. So if you haven't read it, and you want to and don't want spoilers then thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one and if you want to keep on watching and know my full thoughts with some spoilers like immediate thoughts like i literally just finished it then let's get on with it okay so we've changed positions to feel slightly more formal but oh my gosh i loved this book so much i thought it was so cute my only criticism i would have um the kind of plot twist at the end with guy um i really didn't see that coming at all for one um i now notice like little bits kind of um hinted at that i can kind of think back to but really did not think that would be him at all like really was so in the dark did think it was kind of dramatic for like a very much real life thing for it to be like with a gun and then the cap jumping on him like that seemed a little bit unrealistic but overall i did still enjoy it like this is still a five star book for me i loved b so much she's probably one of my favorite protagonists that i've ever read i really loved her having the twitter account and i love I actually did end up liking the way that they did the messages i really thought it was going to be too much and i wasn't going to like it because i don't like when a book kind of hinges on that but i think it's really nice that she had that kind of moment of realization that it was levi and then realized the messages he was sending were about her um loved levi as well i think he might be one of my favorite book boyfriends ever he just sounds incredible so sweet i love the trope of when the guy falls first slash when the guy's been liking them for ages he reminds me a lot of gus from beach read who i absolutely adored and i loved the kind of trope in there and i loved it in here too this is definitely a five star book for me i have realized i love ali hazelwood's writing i love the way she writes women and I just really, really feel like B was very, very fleshed out and I really, really liked that as well. The writing was very gripping. The one thing I did not get at all was the names of the chapters. They were way too sciencey for me. Um, not got a clue what this says. Uh, so I did skip that. Sciencey words I also had to skip at some points. Um, but overall, I did love this book so much. So I definitely would recommend it. I think I can't tell which I like more. I prefer B and Levi than I do Olive and Adam. I kind of preferred like the falling first type of thing but i do love a fake date fake dating i do think love hypothesis moved a little bit faster because in here they literally hadn't even kissed till like 200 pages so it was quite far in like halfway through the book she was still convinced that he hated her so definitely a slow burn i don't think that's a fault of it 
minute but I do just like things to move slightly faster maybe get a little more hints like there were hints I guess there were hints throughout but there were very very minor hints um for her liking him and obviously a bigger ones for him liking her but overall I love this book so definitely a five star read would definitely recommend especially if you loved the love hypothesis I think this is just as good if not better so so cute I'm obsessed with this book so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this reading vlog if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a like down below hit subscribe turn on the bell turn on that little club and make sure you turn on all notifications then you'll be notified every single time I post a new video if you want to watch my other videos there'll be two on the screen now to pick from as well as a load linked up in the cards from earlier so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye